السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في هيبي اوكي اعطيك الحمد لله اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم افتان اوف I grew up in uh, Long Island, New York, to an uh, Italian-American family. I was raised a Catholic, but we never went to church. We never really talked about it at home or anything. We were t your typical American family. We only went to church for funerals or for weddings, uh, okay? I got involved with uh, the gang life in New York. I got involved with very bad people. I did very bad things. Uh, I won't get into it, but uh, my so-called friends who I hung out with, they eventually broke into my house on Easter Sunday and robbed me, and they took all my stuff. They took everything, basically. After that, we decided to move, so we put the house up for sale, so we uh, moved to Florida. I came here, you know, at the age of 16. I didn't want to move here, you know, obviously. I, I was still into that life. I didn't want to move. I had uh, I had a very hard time here making friends. I still really don't have friends here. Maybe I have about two friends now who I speak to. That's it. I, I just stick to myself. Uh, religion for me was uh, growing up. I didn't really uh, think about it that much. I mean, I, I it, uh, in my heart, I always had a belief in God deeply. But, you know, it was still full of, uh, full of doubts, and maybe he, he existed or he didn't exist, ETC, etc., etc. Alhamdulillah, and uh, being alone here in Florida with no friends, it made me think. I, I spent all my, t all, my t uh, all my time by myself, and I got very, very depressed and lonely, and I started to think about God and creation and his prophets, ETC. So I went to see that movie, uh, The Passion of the Christ, in the theater. I went to see that with my mother. And after seeing that movie really opened my heart. Uh, it gave me, uh, I just wanted to follow uh, Jesus Christ, Isa alayhi salam. I started uh, practicing Christianity at that point. Uh, I, I didn't read the Bible, I just read certain parts. I didn't, I mean, I didn't really practice, practice Christianity. I, I, I mean, I believed, I called myself a Christian. I didn't believe, in, I stopped being a Catholic. I just, just called myself a Christian. No, I didn't go to church, no. I just, no, I didn't go to church. And this didn't last for long at all, that much, because I still had doubts. And reading certain parts of the Bible is like reading a fairy tale. Like John's Revelation, the Revelation, it's full of monsters and seven-headed beasts and this and that, and that was, that, that's very hard to believe, subhanAllah al Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons, exactly, okay, wallahi. And, uh, I stumbled upon Islam one day. I st Actually, I was against Islam at one point because I lived in New York during 9-11 and I hated Muslims at that point. I hated everything about Islam. But I always knew the name Allah because growing up in New York you have certain gangs like the Five Percenters who actually call, who actually call themselves they actually call themselves the name Allah. They actually believe the name Allah means arm, leg, leg, arm, head, Audhu Billah. This is what they say, and they're a group of black people. It's a gang, it's a gang up north. They're called God Bodies. So I always knew about the name Allah. I didn't think it was, uh, you know, my God though, the Creator. It's a gang. They're called the Five Percenters. <coughs> and I used to listen to rap music, and uh, the certain rap artist that I used to listen to was Styles, his name was Styles P. And, uh, he was a Muslim, you know, but obviously he wasn't practicing Islam, but he always talked about Allah in his lyrics. And he was my favorite, favorite rap artist. He was probably the only one that I, uh, that I really listened to. 
So I, I always knew about uh, the name Allah, but I didn't think he, he was the same God associated with Christianity and the and uh, the prophets of old and Musa. You know what I mean? I thought he was a foreign God. May Allah forgive me. So. I used to go in the Yahoo chat rooms and I was like a Christian, I considered myself a modern day Christian crusader. <laughs> SubhanAllah, I used to go in the, in the Islamic chat rooms and uh, curse them out. Okay. <laughs> Do you hear me, Aki? Do you hear me? One. Okay. So I read about Islam. I came upon this website. This was like, like eight years ago, and I I started reading it. And then, uh, Subhanallah, I realized, Subhanallah, you know, this was the religion of truth. And I then I, I watched that movie Malcolm X. Malcolm X. And that movie really opened my heart. Subhanallah. I mean, now I can see that white that white people could be Muslims. Because I, w in the heart, I wanted to be a Muslim, be but I I thought that you couldn't because it was uh, it was certain religion. Actually, I got told that Aki by this Pakistani kid, this, this Pakistani kid that I grew up with. He actually said no. Uh, I told him I would ask about Islam. Like, you know, can I be a Muslim? No, yo, know, you can't. It's it's with blacks, uh, blacks, Pakis, and. Pakistanis and only so that turned me off I got pissed at him I, I got in fights with him before he wasn't practicing Islam I don't know if he's practicing Islam now I have no idea his name was Saad and he was a Pakistani kid I grew up with blacks Arabs Pakistanis all kinds but not many there weren't really uh, many white people in my town I actually uh, I was at the point where I wanted to be black <laughs> I was growing my hair so I could get braids <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, okay, uh, let's go back to this, uh, I watched the movie Malcolm X, and, that, uh, and then that showed me that whites could be Muslim, and it tells you what Islam is, basically, you know, it shows him making the Hajj, and, you know, first he was with the Nation of Islam, that fake group, then he becomes the truest, when he comes to Huck, and that, and that movie opened my heart, and, uh, then, uh, one day on Yahoo Chat, I, I went to a room in Islam, and when I, I said, I want to be a Muslim, and they told me how, and uh, this Arab probably from Mecca, I, I, no, he, he wasn't from Mecca, forgive me, he was from Arabia. He taught me the words to say, bearing witness that there is only one God worthy of worship, the one God, the Creator. In Arabic, his name was Allah, which means the only one worthy of worship. And testify that Muhammad is his final messenger, the messenger foretold in the scriptures of old, promised by Jesus in the books even though the Christians changed it but in Aramaic and it's al munakma that's the name in Aramaic one who one who's praised and in Quran and he's refers to Ahmed and in the old and in just plenty of prophecies in the Old Testament and that's when I declared my faith in Islam Iman didn't enter my heart at that point immediately it took time uh, building up I started to practice this slide, alhamdulillah. I said, Shadow wa la ilaha illallah. I shadu wa la muhammad rasulullah. Then I started doing it. I spent, I spent my time in the chat rooms. I, uh, I learned how to pray. It, it took me time because I was, uh, you know, my parents didn't really, you know, they was like, are you crazy? My mother, uh, my mother even told me, if you want to be a uh a Muslim, you have to go find another family. That's what she told me. Yeah, uh, I started praying in the bathroom. Actually, that's when I first started praying to get away from everybody because I had nowhere else to go. You know what? You know you can't pray in the bathroom. I'm stuck for the law, but I didn't know. And at that point, I was living with my brother in his room. Huh. You know, the good thing was my father actually supported me. And my father was. He actually got me a prayer rug. <laughs> he was the only one who supported me, my father. My mother hates it. She she doesn't like it at all. My brother, uh, my brother accepts it. He he supports me in it. 
it's just my mother, she's very stubborn. Of, of course, as a Muslim, we are told to obey our parents and not say anything wrong to them, so... You know, she, she, she doesn't like it at all. She doesn't like it for me. I mean... So I started praying in my room, and, you know, and I was, I'm a big guy, okay? And, you know, the Islamic prayer, <laughs> you get on your knees, and it makes you, you know, it took me time, right? It took time to get used to it. How did you know, now I got it down, you know. Even though I got back pain, I, I uh, you know, when my back hurts really bad, I sit in a chair, but I go down and make sujood, I can still do that, but when it's really bad, I can't. Like right now, I'm in a lot, a lot of pain, so it hurts really bad, but some didn't know, you know, it, the way I look at it is it, it, it could be worse. That's the way you got to look at things in life. You can't look to the ones above you, you got to look to the ones below you. So, uh, yeah, uh, so I started, uh, you know, but living with my brother, you know, uh, he was always playing video games and always having people over. Anyway, you know, and I used to pray in my room, and it was and it was hard because my brother, you know, sharing the room, he had pictures up everywhere, you know. So praying with pi pictures, subhanallah, but you know, I had no other choice. I I had nowhere else to go. You know, the backyard. My father is like a decorator. There's statues everywhere of, of animals and stuff. Just everywhere in my house. There's not one spot. Uh huh. Yeah. So I started praying in my room. <laughs> Then, all, then I used to, you know, I spent my days on Yahoo Chat. That's how I spent my days. And I got involved with this whole internet jihadi movement. <laughs> you know, uh, Yahoo Jihad. You know, we sit in our rooms in our nice American bedrooms where our air condition is. And our refrigerator is full of food and we're totally preaching about jihad, jihad, jihad. <laughs> SubhanAllah. <laughs> Eventually, me, uh, uh, with my mouth, I ran on emotion. I didn't go on knowledge. Eventually, the FBI came to my house. This is about two years ago. And when they came, uh, my mother almost had a heart attack. SubhanAllah. It, it was a really crazy day. And they told, they, well, I don't believe, who knows, you know, the Kufal plot against each other. You know, they, they turned Muslim against Muslim, but they said that this certain brother was working for them, and he told, told him, and, he t and, and everything I told him, he saved it and, and gave it to them. Uh, and he f supposedly fled to Lebanon, and they wanted to know where I was, but I had no idea where he was. You know, I was really scared, I, I thought I was going to end up in uh, Guantanamo by the end of the day. <laughs> Under the law, I didn't... <laughs> Uh, but that's how that's how they came in the morning but I said come back come back later in the day when my parents get home and you gotta imagine how scared I was during that day I was you know it was like five hours before they came back and I was freaking out uh, I was freaking out and I didn't have much in, I didn't have much Iman then I didn't have much uh, trust in Allah depending on him it was you know it was very weak then after that, after the FBI came, I stopped coming on the internet, and you know, and plus my mother, she she wouldn't let me, you know, come on Yahoo and talk to the, talk to this and that. Why what? What did they want? Oh, they, well, I went to the door and they said, "Are you Michael?" I said, "Yes." Uh, we like to discuss with you about radical Islamic groups. <laughs> What are you up to, Michael? All this radical Muslim stuff. No, it's come on. They were two FBI agents, and they were one came from New Jersey, and one and the one was here uh, from where I live. They just asked me questions. They wanted to know this, this, and that, 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 that. You know, do you? I was I was freaking out, Saki, so Paula. But the the main reason they came here because they were they thought I knew that where this brother went because because he fled to Lebanon and they thought I knew where he was, but they didn't. I'm like I don't know, and they didn't believe me. But I don't. I had no idea. I honestly had no idea. So they took a scan of my computer. They wanted to see what I had on my hard drive, but I had nothing on my hard drive. So I mean, it, and after that, they left. They never came back. But and after that, I have no idea what he did. Aki, he's he does. Um, he he's in Lebanon.
I have no idea what he's up to. He he was involved with some group in New York who preached jihad. <laughs> Subhanallah. I have no idea. He's in Lebanon now. But uh, hold on, let me get a drink. Hold on. Yeah, bad news. Subhanallah. Okay. Then after that, I uh, uh, I stopped making my prayers. I'll be honest. I stopped praying. I believe in Islam in the heart. I mean, I, I I still believe in it, but then I fell into deep, deep sins. I hung out with women, went to the club, did a lot of bad stuff. Then a, a couple couple months back, it got to the point where I was sleeping at like six, seven p.m. during the day because I didn't want to get up because I didn't want to live. I'm like, what's the point? It's just this. It's like one day rolls into the next. What's the point of living? Without Iman, there's no life. Without belief in Allah and without worship in Allah, there is no life. That's it. There's nothing. You're just a dead person. You're just a... You're just nothing. You're just flesh. And I couldn't bear it. I just wanted to die. I just hate it. I... But, think, alhamdulillah, I knew about Islam. So, for me, I knew what to do. I knew to come back and repent and practice Islam. And I knew that was the right way. So, that's what I did. I, uh came back to Islam, started making, uh, started making my salah again five times a day. I cut off all the commu uh, communication with all these, uh, evil, evil, these evil, evil people. I don't talk to them anymore. I'm not talking about the internet jihad, I'm talking about people I associated with in real life. I cut them all out, I don't talk to them. Only one I talk to is my cousin and just one, and, and, two, and, and two people who are good, they're, you know, they're non-believers, but they're good, decent people. They're not bad. And they, and they support me in Islam. They don't have a problem with it at all. If somebody has a problem with Islam, I cut them off in a second. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. <coughs> so now I'm trying with my best to get, to be firm on my Iman. Alhamdulillah. And that's my story, brother. Basically, that's it wrapped up, really. There's, there's much more than that. If you have any questions, you can ask me, I'll answer. It's basically, uh, there's nothing worthy to be worshipped, to be acknowledged, to be served, except the one who brought everything into existence, who gave you the breath of life, and he alone is worthy of worship, and he is one in his essence and his attributes. Wallahu la ilaha illa ant. I won't get out praying the bath. I hated Islam once. Yes, I hated Islam once, Aki. But I didn't know Islam as I know Islam now. I thought it was from forward era of religion. I hated it because of 9-11. Because I was in New York. And I remember 9-11. I was in, uh, I was in ninth, I was in 10th grade. I remember I was in Spanish class, first period. And the uh, announcer comes on and talks about the uh, World Trade Center being hit. Blah, blah, blah. And my mother was so scared. She took me and my brother out of school early. It was a real crazy day. Then all you know, all me and my quote unquote homeboys like, yo, we gotta go mess these Muslims up, man. Look what they did to us. <laughs> Audu billah. Yeah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Muslim. And they and those people in New York who I don't associate with no more, they made fun of me, of course. Like you're white, man. You're Italian. How can you be a Muslim? You know, because they, had, because they had the same mentality as that. They didn't understand what Islam was, and I told them, you know, that, that, that this is the religion of God, this is the way of God. How did I learn about Islam? Online, Aki. Websites, and from brothers, from, and from brothers, and from downloading audios from certain shakes. I, I learned it, you know. <coughs> I have a lot of Islamic audios. Yeah, asking questions, yeah. This one brother helped me out with, who I still talk to to this day. I'm not going to uh, mention him, his name or his ID, but Alhamdulillah, he has been a blessing to me. He is uh, the best brother I ever come across. When I, as soon as I see him or talk to him, I think of Islam. And that's, uh, and that's, um, uh, and that's a believer. When you see somebody and you think of Islam, the way he talks, that's a believer. This was a long time ago, Princess Warrior. This was, long, this was like six, seven years ago. I don't know. I don't remember the websites. But I can give you websites about Islam. There's plenty of there's plenty of websites out there if you want. It's basically better.
bearing witness that nothing deserves worship except the Creator. He is one in His names and attributes, that He is the Creator. He is the only one who legislates for mankind. It is the only God. And Muhammad is his final messenger. He has sent a messenger to every nation throughout history and time. But each one was sent to their nation, to their people. This Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being sent to all of humanity. He is a rahmah to the alameen. Alameen, all that exists. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's my story, Aki. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Without Islam, I probably would have committed suicide by now. I took Shahada seven years ago. But Iman took a while for it to, en to enter my heart and really take fold. I took it online. <laughs> I, took, I took my Shahada on the internet, Aki. I never... It, anybody, it took me like a year after that until I actually went to a masjid. I went to this Albanian Islamic center. You know, may Allah guide these people, these at the Albanian Islamic Center, because uh, Subhanallah, they're very into their. I mean, uh, there's some nice people there. I'm not gonna lie, but they're very into their nationalism. You know, I, you know, they come in wearing shirts with the Albanian flag on it. Yeah, and some of them they won't greet you salam. They only greet you to like people they know. I hated that man. That got me so pissed off. I wanted to go up to them and say, Are you better than me? Yeah. So eventually I stopped going there because I tried to make friends there, but I couldn't. So I, I stopped going there. The only friends I could make was online. Oh, bro, subhanAllah, that was an amazing feeling. Of course there were feelings, of course. I felt I felt like a, I, f I, f I felt like a baby. I, f I felt like I was being born again. <laughs> I just felt I can't explain it. It's like a euphoria. It's like you just feel it come over you, man. I can't explain it, Rocky. You have to feel it to yourself. You know. Yes. The religion of truth, of course. Yes, I mounted. I felt. I couldn't even explain the feeling, okay. <laughs> I couldn't explain the feeling, man, let me tell you. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. It was just amazing, bro. Inshallah, okay, I gotta see you soon, you gotta pick me up. La ilaha illallah. There was no ilah, no object worthy of worship, illallah. Except Allah, the only one worthy of worship, who is the Creator, and to Him belong the best names and attributes. Al Hayyul Qayyum. The ever living. We live. He lives, but we depend on Him. He depends on nothing. He is Al Hay. And it is Al Qayyum, the one whom all existence depends upon, but He doesn't depend upon the existence. Allahu Akbar. How did I tell my family? I straight up told them, I'm Muslim. I am a Muslim. I was very, very bad to my parents at first because I didn't know much about Islam, about respecting them. I just came up and declared Islam and said, if you don't believe in Allah, I hate you, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. I was very bad, but I, I changed my ways. Alhamdulillah. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was very ignorant. I used to go outside, Aki, in a turban... I used to go to Walmart in a turban. That's how like zealous I was. <laughs> I used to just wear a big turban. I, I I didn't care what people thought. I mean, I still don't care what they think. But there's no point to go out wearing a turban. You know what I mean? Because you, you're just going to bring trouble upon yourself. I mean, I I wear a kufi when I go out because I want to be identified as a Muslim. I don't. As so people see me, they know I'm a Muslim. I, I do wear a kufi when I go out all the time, always. You're never going to see me without one. Because, I mean, it's a and I'm growing my beard now. I had a beard, but I cut it off, stuck for the law. 
and now I'm grounded again. <laughs> yeah. I went back to that life because I thought I was missing out on something, but I wasn't missing out on nothing. Going to the clubs and hanging out with the women and doing all this and nothing, it brought no peace to my heart. There's no peace in it. There's no peace in anything. There's no peace in none of it. There's no peace. The only peace you get is surrendering to Allah and believing in Islam. That's the only true peace. I thought I actually, I actually thought I was missing out on something stuck from Allah. Missing out on stuff. I was missing out on nothing. Missing out on filth. Going to the clubs, I felt like a fish out of water. I, I thought in my heart, I, I'm not gonna. I, I went to, uh, subhanAllah, I, I just felt like a fish out of water. I felt like I didn't belong there. You know, I thought I was missing, and I know where I belong now. I still got my faults, and I still got my shortcomings. But, alhamdulillah. Yep. Makes me sick. And you want to know something, brother? After I started getting committed again, about two days after that, I started practicing Islam again. But, you know, real. The woman who I was, like, obsessed with, who I hung out with, she sent me a text message, and I haven't talked to her for, like, a year. As soon as I started practicing Islam again, she sends me a text message. I was like, subhanAllah, Nazim, this is, this is a test. <laughs> and I, I didn't reply back to her at all. I said, I just, I, sh I wanted to curse her out, but I didn't. I just, just yeah, go to hell, you know, uh, kafir. I didn't talk to her. I, I, I didn't reply. She kept sending me messages, but I didn't reply at all. And she actually told, my, my brother told, told her that, she said, Michael is practicing Muslim again. She said, oh, I will change him. She said, I will change him. <laughs> she ain't changing me, shaitan. Allahu Akbar. No way. May Allah bless you too, brother. All Muslims and all those who are really, really trying today because it's hard. May Allah give us strength. Alhamdulillah. It feels good to tell my story. It feels good. It feels like I got something off my chest. It feels good, Aki. That was felt good. Did, did, no, Aki, I didn't do Hajj. And honestly, bro, I'm not in the physical shape to do it. I would love to do it. I would, I'd love to go to Mecca and make Umrah, but I can't. Hajj, I can't, I'm not physically able, bro. You know, with my back, I can't. If I stand up, if I stand up for like less, for like 20 minutes, I get the pain. And it's so bad. It's, you know. Inshallah. I don't depend on... I, I take pain medication, but I don't depend on it, because if Allah didn't want it to work, it wouldn't work. Allah is the one that you got to depend upon. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't know, brother, because uh, uh, because of my weight, and a couple of months back, I was cleaning my room, and I picked up my uh, uh, chair. I have a rocker recliner in my room. I, I have a big, up, you know, I, I have a lazy boy chair. It's a rocker recliner. I picked it up to put it on my bed so I could vacuum, and I tear it, uh, and I tear the muscle in my lower back. And I went to the ER, and they said that I tear the muscle in my lower lumbar region, and. Actually, the pain was so intense, bro, I couldn't even sit still. No, no, I'm not going to give up my family. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, set a good example. Yes, I must. Yes, I must set a good example. Inshallah. I don't know what it is, but it just hurts every day. Like right now, I think I strained it again. It hurts really bad. It hurts really bad right now. It's, it's bad. It was it was really like really bad before. I was gonna go. I was thinking about going to the emergency room, but there's no point. I mean, what's the point? So I already have pain medication. And, and that's what all they would give me. What? No, I don't know. What is it? Inshallah, sister, love beauty. I'm gonna get pineapple and pineapple juice. <laughs> Inshallah, when I go to uh, 
the food store this weekend. I just haven't got a chance to go. Chiropractic helps, yeah, uh, I know. As, but that's too much money, I can't afford that. I'm gonna try making that one. No, not really. I mean, I, I, I mean, I preach this slam to certain people. Yeah, if pe people want to know, I'll tell them, but usually people don't want to hear about it. People don't care. But if they want to know about it, of course. There was this one guy that I, that I told him, you know, I, I, I gave him a cut, and, and I've seen him about two years later, and he actually, he asked me if I wanted it back. <laughs> SubhanAllah. A lot of guys who be wills. That's it. In my family, they even tell me don't preach. They say that they don't want to hear it. So, they, and they say don't preach. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Do I feel like what? <laughs> Do I feel like what, Aki? Yeah, sure. Uh huh. Uh, to be a da'i, you mean? Preach about Islam? I would talk about Islam, sure. But, you know, there, there's better people than me who can do it. You know, I have certain qualities and stuff. Uh, talking is not one of my best qualities. I, I am very shy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Of course. Why not? What do I got to lose? Really, it's, thank you, brother. Thank you. I always thought, you know, I always think I stutter and stuff. My con for sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want the mic, Aki? Do you want the mic? Does anybody want the mic? Hey, you guys ask me any questions, inshallah. Just ask me whatever you want. On the Prime Show? Alhamdulillah. No. <laughs> it was just, you know, growing up in New York, and I always knew about the name of Allah, and, and when I heard that name, you just, something come, you feel something in your heart. When I used to hear that name growing up, you hear the word Allah, it just came in your heart. You know, the word Allah by itself. The word Allah is just so beautiful, and just, what it means, you know, people, it doesn't, it doesn't translate to the word God, you know. It means the only, the one and only God, the only one worthy of worship. And the name is so beautiful. No. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of, kind of. I mean, but it was just like blind faith, Aki. That movie, The Passion of the Christ, really helped, and the movie Malcolm X, those two movies really helped. Because especially seeing you know, Issa in that movie, you know, he's you see it in Aramaic, you see, and you see him praying and stuff, he prays just like a Muslim, bowing, sajda. The Malcolm X movie really helped. I, may Allah bless that brother. He's a shaheed, inshallah. Malcolm X, he, subhanAllah, he brought somebody to Islam, I can't even imagine. Allah Akbar. Uh, Allah brought him to Islam through him. And still, even to this day, yes. I read his book. I got his book. I read that book, too. That book is MashaAllah. I still read it all the time. It's a great book. I love the movie, too. Have you ever seen it, Aki, the movie? Malcolm X with Denzel Washington. Yep, I seen plenty of I have seen him uh, debate that Christ, that Arab Christian and his Sharosh. I seen him get smoked, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> he couldn't even recite the Quran correctly and he's an Arab. <laughs> Idiot. You know, recently Aki recently on YouTube I seen a video. He went to jail and his Sharosh. He burnt he set his apartment building on fire, that idiot. He set his apartment building on fire and he got and he went to jail for it. You hear about that that idiot? 
an idiot. He's such an idiot, man. I watched that video. Akhmedina smoked him. He got smoked. He got smoked by the hawk. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. <laughs> he comes in preaching. He starts uh, quoting the uh, a quote in the Bible in Arabic, trying to you know calling Esau Allah stuff for the Lord. I mean. Okay, sister, you take care, inshallah. I don't know, Aki. That, that is that you know the temptations around us are so much, and people when you know they're lacking in iman, when you don't practice. Okay. It's just there's so much temptations around us, especially when you live in the Western countries. You know what I mean. Especially when you don't have strong faith and you don't have knowledge. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Take care, inshallah. May Allah bless you and keep you safe. Ameen. Thank you, Aki. You know, one day I'll play it back for me because I like to hear it. <laughs> Inshallah. Or maybe you, do you have it on like MP3 or something, or you just have it on like recorded? You know, maybe you can send it to me. Inshallah, Aki. Inshallah, Aki. We need to get together, bro. For real, we need to go out. You take me to your house. You know, <laughs> I've never been around a Muslim family. You know. I mean, I've been Muslim for like seven, eight years, and these are things I've never been around. And people, you know, they have, they take such advantage of it, that they don't know how good they have it. <laughs> Inshallah, Aki. You know. You know, uh, a couple of years ago, I met this German revert at the Albanian Islamic Center. His name was Yahya. He uh, came from Germany with nothing, and he converted to Islam here in America. And he was a he was a mashallah good bro. And he and he used to pick me up during Ramadan, and we used to go to uh, Salatul Tarawih. And he took me to some masjids in Clearwater. You know they were very nice. You know it, that was the only time I ever went to it. I wanted to go back so bad, but I I had no way to get there. My mother used to take me sometimes, but it was so far. Okay? I couldn't do that to her. You know, because the gas is so much money now. She's going to take me there, drop me off, and come back and pick me up. I could take a, take a bus, yeah. You know, people always say that, yeah. But it's, you know, that's the destination. I, I, I can't walk that far. People don't under, I can't walk that far. Yeah, but this brother, he used to pick me up, in mashallah. He used to take me to the... He, you know, he, he took me around to the master, just to pick me, used to hang out. Then one day, he just disappeared. I had no idea what happened to him. He just disappeared. He just disappeared off the face of the earth. I heard he uh, borrowed money from from some guy at the master, <laughs> and in hand, he never paid him back, and he just disappeared. Who knows what happened to him? Uh, I have no idea. Who knows if he was a spy? I stuck for the law. I mean, you never know, man. You never know. Especially today. I know Aki. I, 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 he was such a good bro. I, I hope he's safe, inshallah. It, it sucks. He, cause he just disappeared, and I was the only guy I knew off the internet. Yes, yes, you're right. Give him, yes. I hope he's okay, inshallah. Stop for the law. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So what are you doing, Aki? Inshallah, bro. Inshallah. 
I have a Facebook page and I put and I put quotes from Quran up there and I try to, you know, I preach the Islam as much as I can, uh, you know, to my family on there. And I I showed you what my aunt said. And I posted uh, quotes, uh, hadith from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam on my mother's page, and she delayed them. I got so upset, man. She she erased them. Oh Allah. I put, you know, Jannah is under, is under the feet of your mother. And when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got asked, who should, who should you befriend first? Your mother, then who? Your mother, then who? Your mother, then who? Your father. You know, I, I, I put those on there. And she, subhanAllah, she, she delayed them. <laughs> it's like she's embarrassed that I'm a Muslim or something. And she... She'd rather see me. Yeah, they had no, they had no problem when I was a Satanist, though. When I would uh, listen to uh, Satanic metal all day long, you know, I would wear an upside down cross. They had no problem with that. That was okay. That was accept acceptable. But now that I believe in God and worship Him, that's not, you know, that's not acceptable. I mean, I can, I mean. I just, you know, do you know what my grandmother said to me when I first became a Muslim? This, and, she, and she's a, a devout Catholic, too. She told me, why did you become a Muslim for? Why didn't you become a Jew so you could be rich? Wallahi, this is what she told me. This is coming from the person who claims to believe in Jesus, even though the Jews insult Jesus and his mother. She got to me insult her God insult Isa crazy as some unbelievers are <laughs> you know some places here in uh you know where we live you know they got a church then they got a synagogue then uh, right next to it they got a church you got a church synagogue church and you got you know one uh worships Isa and the other one curses Isa, and the other one worships Isa. It's like subhanAllah, they're, and they're best friends. What is she? She is a very against my Islam. She said, "Go." Pr she actually said, "Go pray to your pagan god." That's what she told me one day. SubhanAllah. She won't listen to anything I say. She's very old now. She's she's in her late eighties, so she's on her way out. She's very sick now. She's got Alzheimer's and. She, you know, she doesn't understand. But back like seven years ago when I tried to, she was very, very, she used to say very bad things. And she, uh, she, she don't go to church or nothing, bro. I was 17 years old. I did not sit, yeah, I was seven, 17, yeah. 17 or 18. I think I was 17 when I took Shahada. Aki Knight wasn't here. SubhanAllah. I, where is Brother Fire, bro? I, I, I didn't mean Brother Knight. I meant Brother Fire. Where'd he go, Aki? Really? Aki, inshallah, uh, uh, give me your cell phone number. I mean, your phone number and PM when you get a chance. And I'll give you mine. Whenever you get a chance, Aki. Wafiq, Aki. Thank you. May Allah bless you too and everyone and all Muslims. I mean.